Hi, this is Larry Zorro. Today we're going to be looking at more fulfillment. Fulfillment in our tumbler, in our safe, that opens up into the rapture. Today I call Safari Day, Revelation 6 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth we better pray to God that we're not part of that land that the four horsemen are galloping on but it seems like Africa is a big old portion of land over there it seems like everything Famines, hungers, everything seems to happen in Africa. Probably because it is a big portion of land. Did you know that the hippopotamus is cited as the most dangerous large animal in the world, killing an estimated 500 people a year in Africa? Wow! You know, we see them at Disneyland, they think, oh, they. They're, they're kind of frightening when you're going that safari ride and, and they come out and, you know they come out and they, they go ooh, ooh that's kind of neat but if you go to Disney World you know if you see an alligator you know especially a two year old they're going to think it's part of the ride they should be getting rid of their alligators if they don't harm anyone just recently I've seen this place where there's a shocking video. I'm not going to watch it. I don't want to be shocked. But anyway, it talks about a two-year-old boy was killed by an alligator at Disney Park or World. Excuse me. A shocking video has emerged showing a Disney World employee fending off an alligator at one of Magic Kingdom's most popular attractions. How many people have died? How many little kids have died from these alligators? You know, they'd be more suited for a hat or some boots not set out where little children can come look mommy look mommy an alligator you know that well in this case it's so young a young little boy probably didn't even speak but they go up this is Disney World come on pick your dangerous animals and put them somewhere else Put a fence, six foot fence all around the place. Keep them out of the park. Death is on your hands. That's right. Well, anyway, I first saw why I got onto the subject. I was looking at Fox News. It spoke of a woman who was attacked by an alligator and killed. Well, here's one. Davy, Florida. Uh, yeah, I couldn't find the same article, but anyway. Oh, here, let me take off my safari hat. But anyway couldn't find the same article but here's one it says authorities captured and killed an alligator that they believe fatally attacked a woman while she was out walking her dogs can you imagine that she's out there walking her dogs and a big alligator attacks her and kills her how would you like to go that way of course we wouldn't want to go that way there's something wrong with our country that they can't keep them away from the human population should every household have a have a bear living out in his backyard you know sometimes you can put up with a few reptiles or some animals you can put up with them but other times you need to get rid of them well like this morning I was working on my doing some maintenance on my well pump and I come out there and I put up this yeah, it's just one of these things that's got a little roof and I lift up the roof and I go in there and do my maintenance but anyway I had a little a little pole and I was going up there setting it up and there's a snake a black looking snake all curled up relaxing in the coolness of of the the well house but he was like a foot away from me. That's not the first time something like that happened. I went out in the studio that I have, and a snake was out there a foot away from my head. You know, I think they're more scared of us, some of them, than we are of them. But 
you don't want to get in a position where they'll be scared and bite you, that's for sure. Well, anyway, this, this snake had a purpose. Mice. You know, there are a lot of mice in the well house. I could either put poison out there, but if he wants to do the job, I'll let him. You know, as Christians, we should become snake handlers because if you go to work, you know, go to work at a, a religious church building. You know, how it ever happened that Christians are now forced, you know, to work in Babylon and bring their little ties to the church. I got nothing wrong with churches. Churches, they, they need... They need to have money in order to to pay their power bill. You know, n nobody's a freeloader, I guess what you call them. But you know, I got nothing wrong with churches. There, there are some great churches out there that preach Christ, and we should support them. But anyway, how it got to the place that we don't have more Christian businesses that hire people, and it's gotten to be all Babylon anymore. I know I, every job I ever had was from Babylon and you well anyway I don't want to get off track but I was talking about snake handling and there's a lot of people in there some of you may say I'm a Christian you may later find out but you got to know how to handle them man they could say like there, there's this uh, platitude or some you know those sweet little sayings and somebody said that you know don't don't let more or less you know, people can't hurt, wreck your day unless you let them. They never worked in the world, have they? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's one word that a person can say to you that can set you off. We're not that perfect, are we? That we don't let anything bother us. We just have a smile, a like crazy look on our face all the time. <laughs> huh. Hey, I spent hours looking pretty for you. And somebody says, you look fat. Oh, oh, thank you. You know, and our little kids are really bad. You know, my dad had Parkinson's disease, and somebody said to him, you know, you don't, have, you know, the clerk, you don't have to be nervous around us. You know that, you know, because you're shaking so much. Well, come on, he had Parkinson's disease. Of course, you don't have to be nervous around you think he is but anyway they have a clerk say that to somebody brainless brainless and you got to know how to handle these people you know I'm retired now so I don't really have to well handle them too much unless YouTube you think I should handle them more you know I'm sure that your videos would get more views if I would like that snake feed them some mice and I might do that monetize my videos because after all they're snakes and they need to eat and they get paid by monetizing your your videos I'm not a freeloader I'll pay as I go whatever I need to pay but anyway I would just make it a point that church churches that preach the gospel of Jesus Christ they should be financially supported and 10 percent is not very much now your taxes that you pay on certain things is more than 10 percent and uh, well, anyway, they got to live. You got to support the minister in the building, especially. Well, all the lights, the the you know the cleaning of it. Somebody has to mow the grass. But enough of that. Back to one of the worst insects of pestilence. The Georgia mom warns others after son five contracts rare disease from tick bite. You ever been bit by a tick? I hope you never have to go through it. They just bite you one time and, and you get inflamed. I mean, all of a sudden you feel it. You feel it. The minute, it could be the smallest seed tick. But anyway, now we're getting dangerous uh, ticks that have rare diseases and it's an easy biological weapon. You just come over from another country, a visitor, and bring a jar full of ticks. And guess what? You know that? They'll breed. And then we'll be like their country, cursed with a bunch of filthy ticks. Well, anyway, I hope your day is a bright one. 
I hope everything's going well with you. I pray for you now. In fact, I'm going to pray for you now because you need prayer. Heavenly Father, a lot of these people have jobs. They get pushed around. And I just pray, Lord, that you'll make them strong, strong and mighty, mighty in Christ, that they'll have the joy of the Holy Spirit and continue to have it throughout the day and that they can actually overcome the meanness of others those that hate you without a cause I pray this in Jesus name his holy mighty name the name of the Son of God Jesus hallelujah the blessed Son of God amen well this is Larry Zorro you take care God bless bye